Hello everyone, welcome back to Greater Persia, or the New Persian Empire, as we're called by the game. Oh, don't be fooled by that, we are Greater Persia, there is no doubt about it. Now we're in early 1940 and all of our wars that are to come are scheduled to begin on the 31st. Mm. Now, how many Afghans can we expect? Eight to ten battalions. And there's not really a reason to be overly worried about that. We'll just take what else we have here. And let's start actually uh, planning this offense here. So I think going to Kabul would already be enough. Hmm. They would be leaving out these provinces down here, apparently. But I think I'll just do them manually when the time comes. Now down here, there's really no two ways about how this will go. Let's have a look. There's still two battalions at two divisions each. All right, we have, however, a number of planes in reserve here. So let's find them. Well, that's, that's the question here. Do I? No, I can't even send them to Afghanistan, can I not? And there isn't any... No, there's no airport closer to the border than this one. So what we'll do is just send them back to the Middle East. Mm, no, Luxembourg is now also... I don't think they'll put up too much of a fight. But at any rate, Nanjing has fallen, the capital of the Republic of China. Despite fierce resistance from the walled city's Chinese defenders, Japanese troops managed to capture a gate and fought their way into the city. All right, so that's the Chinese. And Luxembourg has capitulated. There we go. Japan joined the Axis. So I guess if you really want to make this an axis, we're a perfect fit here, aren't we? Right. So you will now go there. And then we're going to create a new air wing with interwar fighters, because why not? I mean, they're there. There's no reason not to use them. We'll also have you fighting for air superiority. Alright. Finland does reject Soviet demands. Soviet diplomats have presented an ultimatum to the government of Finland demanding border adjustments in the region of Karelia. Despite a significant buildup of Soviet forces on the border, Helsinki has rejected these demands, stating that not a single foot of Finnish soil will be given willingly to the Russian aggressors. aggressors. International observers fear that a Soviet invasion may be imminent. That will not end well. They're still not aligned, mind you. But I think they have this... Uh, yeah, Sisu. It's the uniquely Finnish expression for the resilience of the nation's people. Finland has faced harsh odds and will do so again. They get a lot of cool bonuses here. Division recovery rate, division attrition, and plus 20% division attack and defense on core territory. That's quite a lot. I mean, I don't think it will save them from the Soviets if they come. I mean, they have somewhere in the neighborhood of 20 divisions. Now, granted, Soviets, the Soviets do have quite a lot more uh, surface area, border area to guard, but I don't think there would be much of a contest as to who will win this war. All right, we're up to the 23rd, so that means war is in fact imminent. And we have no divisions in basic training. That shall not be. Hmm. 
Now I'm saving up my army experience to modify the tanks later on down the line. Because I don't really feel that extending these... Although, hold on, no, we didn't really research any of them. But I don't feel like extending these brigades by more... By adding more uh, battalions, or whatever they're called. I don't feel it really makes much of a difference, because... Yeah, I don't know, it's just... And what am I trying to say here? <clears throat> you can always bring more of the same type, and you aren't restricted by n not being able to enter a province or a state with low supply limit because your divisions are just too big. So that's my reasoning. I don't know if there's any any truth behind that, but we'll see. I'll just, I'm just going to stick with relatively small divisions. Alright, so we do have all of our war goals, and I think there's really not much else to say about that. We want to declare a war on you. We want to declare a war on you. And we are at 100% uh, world tension, so it's very likely that they will all join the Axis. But that's neither here nor there. Just attack, attack, and attack. And let's see what happens. Apparently none of them... <coughs> excuse me, none of them joined the Allies. Did I say Axis before I meant Allies? What's it with my throat? Hang on for a minute. All right, there we go, back again. I do seem to have exhausted my voice today, somehow. Didn't really do too much, to be honest, with it. But there we go, that's Yemen. For some reason, all of my troops are marching down there, but who am I to judge? And we'll just stand here and watch them do as they please. There's uh, still fighting going on down here. And we already captured a couple of good factories, which we shall put to use. Once again, we need steel. And we shall pu procure it. I'm just going to leave the game running at the speed we have right now. So it would be very nice if we could wrap up these wars before any kind of factionalism arises here. Because that will mean that we have... All of these as core territories, from what I observed so far. And I think it's then also time to start justifying a war against the British Raj. Right, there we go. That's Yemen. Let's take all of you. Done. Right, let's see what we got here. Still a core territory. Did get a couple of military factories. Hmm. Yeah, I think I want to work a bit more on aircraft now. So close air support. Sounds like a good thing to have more of. It also means we'll need more aluminium. Right, now you're a little bit directionless, and you don't need to do anything back here. Alright, so I suppose we want, looking forward, we want some defense against the UK and France on these borders. And then we'll try to advance into Africa and take our fair share. And we also want, it's probably going to be our main army here, led by Hassan Arfa, that will be attacking the British Raj. So that is that. So I think what we'll do for now is just position you, I don't know, up here, down there, whatever that is, and then have you very quickly, once the war breaks out, collapse onto these territories, and this army for Oman will do the same over here. 
and then we'll quickly reposition over here. Now I don't have any intelligence, obviously, where troops are over here, but uh, we'll see. And what also did just occur on the screen there is that this nation, yeah, joined common turn. So we can't really attack them without provoking the Soviet Union, and that's something I would really rather avoid. I mean, it's probably, if the Germans do act somewhat historically, it's going to be on the menu at one point or another, but I'd rather, rather put it off as long as possible. Alright, what exactly are you trying to do here? You know what, let's just put you in, the, in an army there. Alright, there's more fighting going on here. All of this is mountainous, so probably not the best place to fight, but we'll be fighting nonetheless. Oh, we're crossing a river here. Probably not the best idea to attack then. We'll just let the let the battle planner do its thing. Although it does back the cool oh no, there we go. I was about to say it does beg the question why they don't take that province there. But no, it did get reinforced. Oh, that's a shame. We're having supply problems down here, because apparently this... Uh, we can't get enough supply down here because of what exactly? We're lacking control of incoming edge provinces. Alright. In other news, the Soviets declared on Finland. Nothing too surprising there. It's also a pretty isolated war, so I have to see about that. Maybe Finland is going to join the Axis, maybe not. Hmm. I think there's still a lot of, <laughs> a bit of work that needs to be done with these things. Alright, so that's Fighter 2. Also, do we get any focuses down the road which allow us to get closed air support? Hmm? Now we can also take that later on. What we could also do is just leave the leave that be for now and do some atomic research for for a minute. Oh, let's do that. Get that sweet sweet research speed going for us. Now you'll go over there. And that will be the end of Oman. Or maybe not. Right, over here we're still advancing. Let's look at some casualties. Nothing to really talk about. Which is a nice thing, because we'll need every single man for, well, the Great War which still hasn't broken out for the Persian Empire. Right now all that we're doing is really consolidating our forces, nothing more. And to that end, I still want more civilian factories. Alright, Muscat is about to fall. So is Kabul, hopefully. Yep, yeah, there they are. Oman, I want all of you. Thank you very much. Now, just to be certain here, that is also a core state. You can tell from you can tell what's a core state and what's not if you go to the diplomacy map mode. Is it called that? Yeah, diplomacy map mode, and take a look at the shades of green. So the best example is the Germans here. They have the dark green is their core territory, and then the lighter green are the areas that they occupied. So that is former Poland, the Netherlands, Belgium, and France here. So you can always tell the two apart very easily by just doing that. Alright, so this army is now a little bit directionless, I dare say. So let's give it some direction. Right, what did we find out here? Mm, yeah, I really want to stay on top of the game there. Hmm. All right, let's start planning a little bit here. I don't know how much is actually going on there, troop-wise, but I would suppose it's not too much. 
All right, so we have ideological fanaticism now. That will lead to technology sharing, but we can also take just take the extra research slot now, and worry about all that later. All right, so how much do we need to occupy all this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight border provinces. So we'll take eight of you. The rest will go over there. I don't quite know if that makes any sense, but yeah, six. <laughs> and we'll just leave it that way. All right, now we do have three military factories. We also did take the Afghani capital, which will now mean the Persian Empire stretches from the Red Sea all the way up into the Afghani mountains. Which is nice. Right, lots of well, one free military factory. We shall put it to good use in producing close air support. And we should also probably upgrade this to fighters too. Right, there you go. Also, didn't we? Oh no, we're not quite done yet. I was just thinking about the new infantry equipment. We definitely want some of that, but it isn't done quite yet. Right, so down here we have a lot of that going on. And there's also some United Kingdom soldiers. Apparently it's French, but still. This one. That's interesting. It shows the UK flag if you zoom out and it... Hmm. So we'll definitely also want some soldiers there. Fortunately. We have some. So let's just get Esmail out there and tell him to situate himself there. And then the rest of you will just take position up along that front line. Now that offense will most likely be something that I want to plan a little more carefully. Now most of this, well apparently all of it is mountains. So, yeah, that's it's going to be a tough nut to crack. Can we get air superiority over here? What about... No, not really. So we should probably be building... Hmm, should probably be building an airbase over here so that we can actually use planes to fight. I mean, they don't have too many. But I'd really rather bring my own to the fight. Hmm. Well, I have to think about that. But I think the first first iteration of conquest here is quite easily quite easily set up by just going along that river here. So we'll say that will be our first. Hassan. So you get three additional battalions once the time is right. Which is now. And then you'll just be here for a minute. Now British Raj did build up quite nastily. So I'll probably need a second army there before too long. But we're we're into training more. Let's just let's just see where we end up. How long will it take for us to fabricate that? The 15th of June. So we still have about three months to prepare and then another two or so. Yeah. That's interesting times. Very much interesting times. So we have what we need in that respect now. Let's just go ahead and... Hmm. 
get more infantry tech. I'm a little bit afraid that we don't have enough military technology to compete here. But we'll see about that. I think we can... I think what we'll do is just hold this for as long as we need to. And use these troops in the west here to mop up uh, these southern parts of Saudi Arabia, of the Arabian Peninsula. And then establish a defensive line somewhere here in Sinai. And just leave Turkey to its own devices. Take all this, fortify it somehow, leave some troops here. And then walk over and deal with the British Raj. And then say, all right, this this is it. I mean, there isn't really anything we want in Egypt. Not too much anyway. And Italy is fighting, fighting for it already. So yeah, I think that will be what we do. Fortify the west and then push into the east, into India. To take those Indian riches for the glory of Greater Persia. But we shall do all of that and more in the next episode. So until then, and as always, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I've been Descriant, and I shall see you soon.